So we have a special treat for you today, Black Tree. The fabulous Michael O'Connor, who is rocking... Can we talk about the spider really quick? Okay, we do have to talk about the spider. Okay. This is an LA-based designer, Alishan, and cute little story. Alishan actually made me one of these to wear to the Academy Awards a couple of years ago and to the Elton John party. Oh, now, Elton casual. John, yeah, a <laughs> casual little thing. And so Elton John, who was a big jewelry collector, was in his private little area there, which I was not allowed into. However, fortunately, my spider caught his attention and he came out to talk to me. So that was really a great- it was, Best moment of your life. It, it really was, was one of them. I mean, mm -hmm. not, it was one of them. Okay, so tell me about what we've got in the collection today. Well, here uh, we've actually had so many things actually, we've had so many things um, walk out the door over the past couple of days because we had originally $25 million worth of jewelry here. And we've had people, we've had at least five of the nominees in. We've had people from almost every uh, important television show come through. Um, you were just here to witness my last styling appointment. So we've had some pretty fine people come through. Some beautiful people. Some beautiful people. Yes. Uh, and what we have here are pieces that that celebrities don't have access to here in Hollywood. So one of the things that we try to do is work with designers from all over the world mm -hmm. and really give them the chance to experience Hollywood and give the celebrities the chance to wear something that is unique and different that they haven't seen on 50 other celebrities. So $25 million. 25. What one piece was the most pricey? Uh, you know, there's several pieces on that very pricey. Actually, we have a couple of them right now. I'm okay. going to show you. This piece here is a um, half a million dollar emerald and diamond necklace. I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> With, I mean, this is beautiful. This is by designer Takat Jewels. And Takat Jewels is certainly no stranger to the red carpet. But more importantly, if you really want to feel like a king or queen, he is actually collected by some of the most important royalty in the wow. world. So that's something that's really amazing. This is a great, great piece. And he concentrates on the really the finest quality emeralds, the finest quality tanzanite. We actually have another designer here. This is um, Fei Lu. He is from the UK. And if you know a lot about fashion, which I'm sure you do, <laughs> the color of the season is radiant orchid. So we're starting to see dresses go into that pinky, purpley kind of hue, which is exactly what he's done here. And if you notice, he's created this ombre effect from white to red here, using diamonds and going all the way through to rubies. So this is beautiful. Shape. This is so unique. I don't. I haven't seen many of the more collared look. It's kind of. It's nice because you know that collared yeah. look can look very staid, mm -hmm. look very, uh, right. you know, old Hollywood. This right. is that collared look, but with a really young, funky mm -hmm. kind of attitude. This would be equally at home on on at, on the Grammys, for right. example. Very cool. It's beautiful. Nicki Minaj would kill for this. <laughs> she would, and it's pink, which is her her signature exactly. color. I mean, we can look her up for you. you want. <laughs> Send her on down. Come on down, Nicki. The, the other thing is that what we try to do is we try to pull together a wide variety of looks. Mm -hmm. So it's not just all one look. So right. we work with designers like this designer. This is jewelry by Gail. Gail is in Nags Head, North Carolina, and these are beautiful. Her signature look is this beautiful woven and wrapped kind of feel. All handmade, all really, really beautiful. Then we work with designers from India. Wow. This is a designer, Farrah Khan. And Farah really does, Farah does red carpet like nobody right. does red carpet. And these are so beautiful. These would be certainly beautiful on somebody like Helen Mirren, somebody who's really statuesque and really Eagle. could, yeah, yes. regal, who could rock it. Let's face it, she was the queen. Right. So, <laughs> so she could pull that off. The other, some of the other designers we work with are Paula Crevache. These are a beautiful pair of black jade earrings. And what I love about Paula's work is that it's not only versatile, but it's very, it has a vintage kind of feel, but very updated. This is a vintage kind of feel, I think, up here, very kind of Edwardian, but it's done with black diamonds, making it updated. The other thing is that this is a piece of black jade on the bottom. But the other great thing that if you were buying these to wear every single day, and you said, you know what, I really just think that I can't wear an earring that big every single day, the bottom pieces actually come off Oh, wow. of this so you could wear this by itself or with the drop so basically you have two yeah. two earrings Personal, in one right. <coughs> That's 
Then we have uh, a designer here. This is Dina Kemp. Dina is an LA-based designer and very, very red carpet. I mean, this is... That's the bling. Yeah, this is the bling factor. <laughs> this is really fabulous bling. This is about $250,000 for this uh, for this bracelet. But you can see why finest quality diamonds, really beautiful workmanship, and Dina really has a great eye when it comes to things like that. Feilu, as we talked about, mm -hmm. is the UK-based designer who did this beautiful piece. But these earrings, actually, I already have a request to hold them for the uh. Emmy Awards. So now, all the way in September, but these are going to be probably a choice from uh, a very famous actress for... Uh, we'll be looking out. I'll remember that. Um, this is something that would be very interesting on the Grammys as well. This is by Takat Tools again. Again, emerald and diamonds, very large oversized crosses. And you know, crosses, uh, they really have kind of I kind of graduated. They're not just a show of faith these days. They're a fashion statement for many people. And this is definitely a fashion-y cross. This is a designer who I really love because I not only am a fan of her as a designer, but I'm actually a collector of her work. This is a, uh, her name is um, Julie Romanenko. Her company name is Just Jewels. And this piece here is a, uh, is a rough, actually a rose cut diamond. Uh, and she incorporates that into a lot of the work that she does. And she mixes them with beautiful gold, beautiful filigree, other diamonds. So she really has a great, uh, a great kind of updated sensibility, if you will, when it comes to the aesthetic. This is a designer who, unfortunately, we only have two pieces left because popular. <laughs> very popular. Mm -hmm. the, her pieces have flown out the door. This is Kalati. Mm -hmm. And this piece here is not only, I think, something that would be beautiful on a red carpet, sitting perfectly in the V of a dress, right. but this is something that literally many people could wear every single day. So it's not something that you have to feel only restricted. This is definitely right. more my style. I'm very simple. I want a and this small would be perfect, piece actually, right. On you. Actually, we it's should have put this on you <laughs> so I mean, that you could have had can. a real look. <laughs> Do you want to see it? Oh, okay. Okay. We get to put stuff on. This <laughs> is when I love my job. Here you go. This is, hopefully I can do this easily on camera. Go, I feel like I'm up. being crowned. It's so light. Yeah, it's, it's a very nice piece to wear. And again, I mean, you could wear this with this kind of neckline, and mm -hmm. I think against the black, it really is it amazing. Stands out, yeah. I love that. You get a good, good shot. Good shot of that. Um, now, this is a very, again, something very special and very updated. Mm -hmm. For those people who really want to know that they're buying diamonds from an eco-friendly, mm -hmm. sustainable source, these are Nature's Beauty by Diamonds with a Story. And these pieces here are all made of things that are sustainable, the mm -hmm. sustainable gold, sustainable diamonds. The diamonds are all ethically mined in cooperation with the landowners. Mm -hmm. They're champagne diamonds from the Argyle region, from the Kimberley region in in Australia. Mm -hmm. And of course, we never want to forget about the men because let's face it, they are half of the people on That's the red carpet. True. <laughs> and men, I feel like, don't get as, they don't get to play quite as much as, I mean, we got all that. And they then. don't, but the fact is that right now, with that whole kind of 50s influence, mm -hmm. that kind of madman feel, a lot of men are really going back to the bow tie. And what that really means from a jewelry perspective and from accessories mm -hmm. is that the shirt stud has to come back. Mm -hmm. So. Here we have a beautiful oh, wow. set of shirt studs. These are by Sebastian Saint. These are all diamonds with black onyx. Oh. So they would be classic, but just give you that little bit of bling factor, right. you know, just to, just to dress it up a little bit. Now, what, so you've had a bunch of people coming in and, and looking at your collections. What colors, besides the orchid, what do you think we're gonna see on the carpet this season? Well, I think, you know, a lot of people think that fashion just comes and it's like, it's this this month and it's that right. next month or this awards show season. And it really doesn't work like that. Right. It actually works kind of like it flows. Mm -hmm. So what happens is that last year we had a lot of the blues and a lot of the greens. Emerald was the Pantone color right. of the year. And so we are still going to see a lot of those blues and greens on the carpet. However, this year we've, uh, we've understood from Pantone that it is radiant orchid is the color. Mm -hmm. but 
But really what that means is that we're going to start to see gowns gravitate from the cooler colors mm -hmm. to the warmer colors. So that's why that big necklace from Feilu is really right. important because it kind of is stepping up almost in front of fashion and making mm -hmm. a statement. Your favorite piece. Got to pick one. Oh, that, I'm sure it's hard. that is <laughs> difficult. I, I would have to say I have to go with my ring. What you're wearing, which is fabulous. <laughs> I have to go with what I'm wearing. Again, this is just jewels, and um, I really, I'm not only a fan of her work, but I'm a collector mm -hmm. of her work as well. And I just love the fact that this is a, um, a rose cut rough diamond. Mm -hmm. Just really pretty. And I just love the way that she's actually done. See the, the side work? It almost has kind of like a hammered, very kind of bohemian feel right. to it. Still very, exactly. We've got to be very classy. classy. Yes. <laughs>